Now that we've learned to create a brush by using the pen tool and our initials, we are going to now make a brush with an image. First thing you need to do is think about getting your image into a workspace with just a white background so that when you define the brush preset it will read it and turn it into a brush. I found this picture of a maple leaf off the internet. Uh, you may find an image that you like. Try to find one with a blank white background and save some work for yourself. But if not, you can simply you know, select the background and delete it to get your background uh, as a white space. To clean this up a bit, to make a brush, I don't want anything going off the edge. I want a nice clean brush. So I'm going to select my lasso tool and just kind of go around here. Uh, the magnetic lasso tool might be better, but um, I'm not really too concerned about getting it perfect because, um, you know, creating a brush, it, it doesn't need to be. Okay. So now I selected this area. Uh, I have my background here. I'm going to delete it. And Apple D is deselect. And for the most part, that looks okay. I can zoom in on it slightly. And we can just clean it up a little bit more with the eraser real fast here. Just kind of touch up that area. Let's select. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. Flow should be at 100%. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Just clean up that area there. For the most part, that looks pretty good. Now, when we go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, it will automatically turn it to this gray tone. Okay, so red maple leaf, uh, that's fine. It's actually green, but who, who's uh, splitting hairs here? Okay, click OK, and there it is. It made a brush real fast. Let's try it. Let's um, create a new layer. Drag this to the trash. Let's, un let's close it down. Let's uh, get our brush out, select our leaf we just created. Okay, looks like we need to select our layer over here. And there it is. It's kind of neat when you, when you overlap it, you get some different kind of tones and darkness and values and things. Okay, so there's an image brush. So this is step three. Step one is creating your initials. Step two is creating a brush with just the pen tool of a geometric shape and a freeform shape. Step three is creating an image brush. Good luck.